And with housing prices in South Korea continuing to soar, the government is unveiling even more measures to try and stabilize the rental housing market under its first package of property market policies. The UN administration says it's going to provide tax incentives to landlords who ease the financial burden on their tenants. More tax deductions for tenants will be given as well. Om Jiang with this report. The Yoon Seo-gyeol administration's first package of measures on the property market aims to stabilize rental housing costs to ease the burden on tenants. Finance Minister Chu kyung ho during his first government meeting on the property market on Tuesday said there will be tax incentives to encourage the renewal of housing contracts. Landlords who voluntarily raise rent by less than 5% will be exempt from capital gains tax when selling their homes, if they own just one home. Those landlords who raise rental prices by less than 5 percent will also get the special tax deduction for owning a property for a long term, even if they have lived in their property for less than two years, if they sell that property. Also, the government plans to ease the burden on tenants under the country's unique Jeonse rental agreement that uses a huge lump sum deposit instead of monthly rent. Considering the rise in prices of Jeonse for the last four years, the government will increase the maximum home rental loan amount for tenants. For Jeonse tenants, tax deductions for the repayment of home rental loans will be expanded, with the ceiling being extended from the current 3 million won to 4 million won, or about 3,000 U.S. dollars. For tenants who pay monthly rent, the tax credit rate on rent will be raised from the current 12 percent to a maximum of 15 percent. Also, to get more people on the property ladder, the government will exempt first-time buyers from up to 2 million won, or about 1,500 U.S. dollars of acquisition tax. The government is to come up with reforms on comprehensive real estate tax by next month and lay out detailed plans on how to supply 2.5 million homes by mid-August. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.